Hey YouTube, welcome back to Tinkro Tools. Tonight we're going to be talking about the Bosch 12 volt Chameleon, their multi-check or installation drill driver. So let's get right into that here on Tinker with Tools. In the past, I've actually already reviewed the Milwaukee installation drill driver and the DeWalt 5-in-1 from their 12-volt lineup. And so now with this Bosch, we're going to be able to have a good comparison between the three of them and be able to tell you which one I like the best and what are the different features that I like about each one. But first, let's go ahead and talk about what Bosch calls their chameleon, and we'll go ahead and see if it truly can fit into any situation and help you get out of some tight spaces. This is the brushless version. I want to make that perfectly. The reason why I've held off on this for so long is they typically will put the brushed version of this on sale. The brushless one is a lot more rare for it to go on sale. It is definitely the smallest between all the installation drill drivers that I've checked. Now, one of the main downsides of Bosch's quarter inch hex collets, in my opinion, is the fact that they're not quick insert and they operate exactly opposite of every other tool that you're used to using. So instead of pulling out to release the bit, you actually have to pull towards you. In my opinion, this is the same as Milwaukee putting the forward and reverse selector up on the top where you're not used to it. In time, you will get used to it, but I do think that they could refine that better and make it an overall better product. You do get the right angle attachment. Uh, you do get the offset. Um, once again, it has the weird collet on it, uh, but it does work well. It does what it's intended to do, and it's nice to be able to get up tight and close in there. And lastly, you do have a 3 8 inch collet. They do have sufficient power to do quite a bit of stuff, uh, but putting a 3 8 inch collet is one way to kind of limit it on there. The batteries are going to be the stem style batteries, just like Milwaukee M12. Let's go ahead and do some quick testing to kind of showcase when you'd use the different chucks, and then we'll go ahead and kind of do some head-to-head -head comparisons with both the DeWalt and the Milwaukee, just so you can kind of see a difference in power and precision as we go ahead and take a look at this. All right, so with the Bosch, it is just as simple as getting it lined up in that quarter inch hex and then twisting, and now it is locked in place. When it comes to the bit, as you can see, there is no quick insert collet. And then like others where you pull out, you actually have to push in the retention ring. The Milwaukee is longer, obviously, but does have a quick insert collet where you actually pull out on that ring and line it up. Each one of them has 16 different positions that you can be in. The DeWalt has the best ergonomics. All of the controls are like a traditional drill. Now this one does feature kind of the same system that the Milwaukee has, where you pull out on this ring right here. With each of these drills, we are going to see how slow we can drive it on speed one. So we are in clutch position one, speed one. And already, the Bosch kind of giving up as far as the clutch goes. Let's go ahead and see the Milwaukee. So the Milwaukee drove it a little bit further. Let's see what the DeWalt does. The one thing I've noticed about the DeWalt is because it's so small, when you start to maneuver that clutch ring, you do run into this little bump down here. And the DeWalt is easily topping out at the finest level of control down on one. Now let's go up to five on each of them. So let's go up to 10. Forward reverse selector on the Bosch is very much what you're used to. Same thing on the DeWalt. On the Milwaukee, unfortunately, you do have the forward reverse selector up here. So as far as feel and control, I know it's hard to demonstrate on camera. It might be familiarity. I do feel like the trigger feel with the Milwaukee is the best. Let's move up to a slightly larger fastener. We're gonna do some three and a half inch just so we can kind of do a time test. And last, the DeWalt. 
all three of them are good options. It's really gonna depend on which one of the ergonomics you like the most. It feels like there's a bigger cliff uh, that these the other two jump off of. But let's just kind of show you. I mean, you can, you almost get an audible response before it goes and with the Bosch. There's just no trigger feel to what you're doing there. What's the DeWalt now? And kind of the same thing with the DeWalt. It's just, it goes from not activating at all to all of a sudden it's activated and it's going faster than maybe what you want. The trigger feel on the Milwaukee is by far the best. So this is first a three inch Spax. Now we are going to be trying these in speed two. I'm aware that the best torque setting for driving bigger fasteners is gonna be speed one. I wanna demonstrate what you can do in their top speed. So it's about a half inch proud with the Bosch. Let's go ahead and see what it does in speed one. All right, and now the Milwaukee starting in speed two. It did drive it down to the surface. I uh, cut out right at the end. I do think that's about the extent of what you're gonna be doing in speed two. All right, in speed two, in drill mode. So this one actually drove it the least far. I did feel like the DeWalt felt the strongest. Speed one. Okay, now the Bosch in speed one with a four inch spat. I will do it in speed two to start. I do believe it's going to have to drop down. It did cut out right there at the bottom. That slipping at the end was just a bit slipping. I think in speed two, the Milwaukee has the most torque. Uh, I don't know what that torque figure would be, but it just feels the stoutest in speed two, and it's able to do more in speed two than either one of the other two. The DeWalt in speed one feels the strongest. I don't know if it's going to be the fastest necessarily, but it definitely feels the strongest and feels like it's, the motor bogs down the least when it gets under load. To help try and illustrate this, we are just going to drive a two inch deck screw in as close to this right angle, right down in the corner as we can. The Bosch and the Milwaukee get equally close. The DeWalt, maybe because of that collet design, does get a little bit less close to it and sticks out just a little bit. All right, and now for the right angle. It should be noted, there's no magnetic connection on the Bosch that is going to help retain that bit in there. So let's go ahead and see if we have an issue with bit retention here. So that is one of my concerns with the Bosch is when you're just using just the right angle attachment, you're not going to be able to count on not losing your bit because on each of the others, there is a magnet in it. It does retain the bit, we can do it again. Just going to retain the bit better. Now the DeWalt also has some magnetic connection. So let's go ahead and do one with the DeWalt. It is able to do it and it does retain onto the bit. So when it comes down to the right angle attachment, just remember that you are gonna be potentially dealing with that on the Bosch, whereas the other two have a magnetic attachment in that. All right, and then when it comes to drilling, one thing I should point out is with the two amp hour battery and the drill check on, there is nothing that prevents that from tipping over. It just gets too heavy and there's not enough weight on it. Whereas the DeWalt stands up just fine. The Milwaukee is a little bit front heavy because of the extra support of the handguard here, it does still stay upright. Now the Milwaukee is prone to tipping, it's not perfect, but there is nothing you are going to do that is going to get that Bosch to stand upright. Something I'm just learning about the Bosch that I never realized, this doesn't appear to be a ratcheting chuck. And that 
is a downside in my opinion with the Bosch. Now we'll see if it lets go of anything, but I do believe the other two you're getting a ratcheting check. Now this is just gonna be that spider half inch twist bit. Okay, it did go through and what just happened? We just let go of the bit. Let's do another one. Did hang on to it the second time. Nice solid ratcheting check. And another thing to point out, this chuck is all metal on the outside. So if it does tip over on it, you're not gonna get any dings from it. All right, we are getting a cutout. On a bigger battery, you're not gonna get that. I do believe it was pretty much through. Once again, rat ratcheting check. It is plastic on the outside though. So now we've gone through some of the testing, we're gonna go ahead and get back to the bench and give you some conclusions and tell you which one I would buy if I were to buy these again. When it comes down to it, which one of the three you buy here, I don't think it matters all that much. None of these are absolutely perfect. Let's talk about a few different categories. First off, ergonomic. The DeWalt is the most standard of the drill. And because of that, I think most users are going to pick it up and probably feel most comfortable with it. While it is the tallest, it does, definitely is not a big heavy drill but I think you're just not going to be carrying it around as compactly as the other ones are. The Milwaukee has ergonomics that are going to have to grow on you, and I think that's something to consider there. Once you do like it, I really think it's a great drill. I feel like the Milwaukee's trigger does allow you to be a little bit more precise and how you're driving the screw. If they could just move the forward and reverse selector, even to this day, it is still not natural for me to reach up there to switch back and forth unless I'm using it consistently for an hour or two and kind of get more used to it. The Bosch, it is definitely compact. The grip is probably the worst of the three based on how most people are going to hold it. Now, as far as the attachment system, once you get used to the Bosch's, it really is quite quick and easy. Um, I Every once in a while, I have a hard time with the DeWalt getting it to go on properly. Um, and it's just not, I would say, as natural as this. As far as bit storage and just screw storage, I think the magnet on the front here is an excellent feature. The Bosch, having the chuck or the drill chuck attached to it, having it fall over, that was something that was really annoying to me. If you are looking to invest in a 12 volt lineup and want to get the most bang for your buck, I really do think it's still going to be the M12 lineup that's going to give you the most bang for your buck but it does have the most unique installation drill driver. So just be aware of that when you're using it. I think it's a great tool. Um, I absolutely love it. If it broke, I would go buy another one. The M12 platform behind it, they've got the most batteries, they've got the most tools. Their M12 platform is bigger than some other people's 18 volt platforms. It is awesome. You're going to get just about every tool. DeWalt is getting there, but they aren't quite there yet, but they do have some really solid core tools. Bosch to me is a little bit more of a wild card. They do have a couple of unique tools. Neither one of these have a hand planer. This has a 12 volt hand planer. I don't believe either one of them has a 12 volt sander. Uh, this one does have a very ergonomically nice sander that does run on their 12 volt batteries. And so there are a couple unique tools, but overall, you're not going to get as many tools on Bosch's 12 volt platform as what you're going to get with these two companies and specifically with Milwaukee. So you are a little bit more limited there. If all you're buying is the Chameleon, I don't think you're going to be upset that you bought this because it does feel like a nice tool. It has one or two little quirks that I don't love about it but it is a fine drill and performance wise, I do think it keeps up with the other two. It's just not going to be the top in the class in terms of performance. If I had to pick one, I'd still go Milwaukee, but I don't think there's any shame in going with the other two. And if you just want raw performance, I do think the DeWalt is going to be the best bet. If you had to pick one of the installation drill drivers, which one are you gonna pick and why are you going to make that choice? Go ahead and leave that down in the comments below. You can also leave any questions you have if you like the video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you want to, go ahead and subscribe. Make sure you click the bell notification if you want to get notified anytime I release new content. All right, so that wraps it up. Thanks for watching. This has been Tinker with Tools.